Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about the problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is maximize the sum of selected numbers from an array to make it empty. So we'll be discussing more about this problem. We'll be understanding what actually the problem statement is, the logic part, and then we'll be proceeding to the coding part, right? But before proceeding further, make sure to subscribe my channel if you haven't done so. It will really motivate me to create more such content for you right so make sure to subscribe turn on the bell icon and do join our telegram community too the link for the telegram channel is given in the description itself so let's get started with the problem statement now the problem says given a array of n numbers we need to maximize the sum of selected numbers at each step you need to select a number a of 5 right delete one occurrence of a a of 5 minus 1 I mean that number is right a of 5 so we have to delete one occurrence of that number minus 1 right if exists and a of i as well each from the array right repeat these steps until the array gets empty and the problem is to maximize the sum of the selected numbers there is one note as well that numbers need to be selected from maximum to minimum right so we'll be understanding more about this with the help of an example so here what the example is we are having this array consisting of 1 2 2 2 2 3 4 right and uh, the output is going to be 10 for the same so see what they are doing is how they are getting this output the sum as 10 so if we are selecting 4 right if we are selecting 4 okay then what the case is so 4 and 3 are deleted so if you are selecting 4 Right, at A of I position or uh, you are selecting 4 then what uh, according to the problem statement we do have that we have to delete one occurrence of A of I minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 that is 3 right so we have to delete 3 as well right so once you delete the 3 right so we are left with uh, this, these elements 1 or triple 2 right now if we select 2 so if you are selecting 2 then you have to uh, delete 2 as well as 1 2 right so we will be deleting uh, 2 as well as 1 2 now we are left with 2 2 right so now uh, we will select again you will select uh, 2 so 1 is not there so we cannot obviously delete it then again we will select 2 1 is not there we cannot delete it right so what are the numbers you selected we selected 4 then 2 then 2 then 2 so the overall sum is 10 and that's what the maximum sum uh, possible for the selected numbers right and here is uh, we are having another array 1 2 3 uh, the elements are now what we need to do the output for the same is 4 right so just give me a moment so for this example right we are having the output as 4 let's understand how so if you will take this 3 right so if we select 3 then we have to uh, remove 3 as well as this 2 2 2 as well right 3 as well as 3 minus 1 that is 2 so right now what is the sum is 3 then next we'll be selecting one so as if uh, one minus one that is zero does not exist so no issues so what are the what is the sum that we do have right now is three as well as one so three plus one we'll be having four so whatever task is whatever task is, the input is already taken care of by the driver code what we have to do is we have to complete the function maximize sum that takes an array arr size of array n and return the maximum sum of the selected numbers the driver code takes care of the printing expected time complexity as well as auxiliary spaces b go of n from bo both the end that is what b go of n right so that's what the problem is now one thing is there like if you will go through the driver code that they have provided right so one thing is there that this array right so when they are passing this array uh, to this function the function is what maximize sum they are sorting it okay so we can say that the array that we'll be having right in this function so that would be sorted array so we have sorted array okay so that is one thing the next thing is that so how we'll be solving this problem so what they are doing is if you will see the array is already sorted i i told you how we can see here they have already done this sorting part so array we do have that is sorted okay the next thing is um so um think in a greedy way right we have to maximize the sum we have to maximize the sum so if the array is already sorted so first we'll be starting from the right side we'll be starting uh, from the rightmost element we'll be considering the elements from there itself now the thing is now what the thing is mm, we have to uh, for example you you chose four then you have to make sure like if the occurrence of four minus one that is three is there we have to remove it from the 
array we are not going to consider it then otherwise if it's not there then 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 in that case no shows to that so how you can keep track of that thing as well so what we can do is first we'll be um, determining the frequency of the uh, numbers that is occurring in this array so for that like in parallel i'll be helping you in understanding of the code as well so what we are doing is uh, what we can do in that case if you need a frequency of the elements that are occurring in that array um, we can take a map we can do we can do likewise right so for here for this what i have taken is i have taken an array right so that will be keeping track of the frequency of the elements that is occurring in the array uh, now what should be the size what should be the size of the map right so that would be nothing but that would be nothing but for that what we can do is we can determine the maximum element that is there what is the maximum element in this array if i'm asking right now so that is four right so how many uh so how many elements do i actually need uh this um, array will basically accommodate so see we'll be having one two three four right and zero is not there right so all the indexing is starts from zero right so what we can do is we'll be first of all we'll be finding out the maximum element of the array and then the size of the array uh, that i've taken for this mapping purpose um that would be maximum maximum value that you have got plus one because you know that indexing starts from zero right so so that's what it is now what we are doing is we are basically we'll be basically determining the occurrence of uh, of the element in the array so that's what we are doing here is for int i equal to zero i less than n i plus plus so map arr of i plus plus so whatever uh, ith element is occurring or uh, we at that particular at that specific index we are uh, incrementing the values that's what we are doing here so this array is responsible for keeping track of the frequency of the elements that is occurring in the array so right till here you must be clear okay so now what this what will be having in this array so zero is not there so nothing would be there then uh, one has occurred once right so on each index what would be the values there so that i'm mentioning here zero index zero uh, at first index at first index what will be just one occurrence is there so one would be there then for second index at uh, second index three twos are there so three would be the value then zero one two third or uh, one occurrence fourth one occurrence right so that would be the values for this map array now we are uh, as i mentioned that uh, we will be thinking the greedy approach right so we will be starting uh, the traversal from the right end so that's what we are doing is for int i equal to n minus 1 i get an equal to 0 i minus minus so so this is our key this uh, err of ith value is right that is what our key so what we are checking here is that if map of key so what will be the value here err of i that would be nothing but 4 so map of 4 so 0 1 2 3 at the fourth position we have one it because four has occurs uh, occurred only once so uh, that value is right one one is greater than zero right that's greater than zero so obviously we are considering this in our sum so sum is going to be four now and we have to reduce see they here they have mentioned right uh here we have to de delete the occurrence of a i minus one as well as a of i so map of four minus minus so the value here is going to be what the value here is going to be zero and at 4 minus 1 that is map of 3 is also going to be minus minus so it would be 0 2 right uh, then again we'll be starting the same thing right then we'll be reaching to this 3 we'll be reaching to this 3 so map of 3 is 0 right it has been uh, updated right so this is 3 we won't be proceeding inside this if condition okay then the next i value will be decremented then we will be having this 2 then we'll be having this 2 okay so for that for that what do we have so key value is going to be nothing but two so map of two is greater than zero right map of two is greater than zero so to the sum we are going to add that value the sum is going to be what four plus two six now we are going to reduce it so that would be two and uh two minus one that is map of one also we are going to reduce so that would be zero right then again we'll be reaching to this two this two right because i is continuously decrementing right so the key value is nothing but two so map of two is still the count is two two greater than zero right so again we are going to consider this in our sum the sum is going to be what now eight before it was six six plus two eight then again we are reducing the value uh and as if map of key key value is what two two minus one two minus one will be a map of one minus minus so here it would be minus the one fine then again now uh, this two we are going to consider next time and loop will um, iterate right so key would be two so 
again map of 2 is what 1 1 is greater than 0 so we are going to consider it again the sum is going to be what now 8 plus 2 10 right and we are going to decrement the value and this value also we are going to decrement right so that will be minus 2 right uh, next will be uh, reaching to this value that is 1 so key is now 1 so map of key is map of 1 map of 1 is nothing but minus 2 right so this if condition is not going to be true right and yeah we are done with the traversal of all the elements so we'll come out of this for loop right so yeah at the end we are simply returning some sum is nothing but 10 so that would that what uh, would be our answer right so the, yeah that was the approach for this particular problem i hope that you must be able to understand the uh, uh, code the logic part right so i hope that this video helped and it and if it did right so make sure to hit the like button do subscribe my channel so that uh, i can create more such content for you thank you so much for watching everyone bye bye